be successful in real estate, you must always and consistently put your client's best interest first. When you do, your personal needs will be realized. Beyond our greatest expectations, today on My.NA Property, we chat with a woman who continues to make her client's dream come true in real estate. We also take a look at Mega Bright Equipment in our Nook segment and Dr. Verda Kauta and Haveka engages us in a Bricks Money and Motor segment. I am Aina Koyo, your host. Welcome to My.NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Mosta. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss My.NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. Bank Ventuk's Chief Executive of Retail Banking Services and Specialist Finance, James Chapman, said that in 2022, Bank Ventuk financed 185 transitions to the value of 135 million in the northern region. He pointed out that Rundu accounted for 71 of the 185 transactions and contributed 55 million Namibian dollars of the total of 135 Namibian dollars mil, uh, overall value. Now, Chapman shared this information during his keynote address at the Bank Ventuk Annual Northern Estate Agents Award Ceremony hosted in Oshakati. Now, during the award ceremony, the bank announced Georgia uh, Chingaete, Jolly Team a Real Estate, Timoteus Ita from the uh, Regent Real Estate, and Simon Ita from the Hippo Real Estate as the top three agents from the Northern Region. Chingaete also won the Gold Award at the Estate Agent with the highest volume of transactions. Simon Ita and Timoteus Ita scooped the second prize, Roswita Haingura, um, Alf, Alt, Otteli Alf, Alfios, and Manete Nicodemus shared the third accolade. Now moving over to our next story. Here are some great tips on how to master monochromatic rooms. Now, monochromatic spaces may appear overwhelming, but mixing diverse color tones, textures, and accents can provide depth and break up too much of one color in the room. Working with one color is very much doable and easy to put together. Play it safe. It is the if the idea of going monochrome makes you nervous, try starting along the lines of neutral color schemes. Cool versus warm tones. It is always better if warm and cold tones are not combined. The underlying tones will conflict. Cool toned colors can be combined with lighter colors. Texture and point. To avoid the interior from looking flat, do include textures and prints, different fabrics such as velvet, wool and furnishings of wood plus sleek gold and silver accents add interest to the room. Art and lighting. Decorate the space by bringing in large paintings, sculptures and chandeliers which are a perfect addition to monochromatic living and dining rooms. Now moving over to our next story, MTC Spectra Home provides high-speed internet connection that gives you, that gives rather your home fast connection that ensures you are always ahead of the curve. The speed and bed which capabilities of the Spectra mean more rapid access to all your data and applications while ensuring your home has a seamless uploading 
finding and downloading for home environment and live streaming, smart home functionalities, and any other interest based on your requirements and communication. With fast internet, you can control your house appliances, um, lights, and other devices remotely. We have more coming up on my.na property. Stay with us. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neo Paints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neo Paints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. They say home is where your story begins. Here to make your property dream come true is Aina Shea, who is a real estate agent. Thank you very much for joining us on my.na property. How are you feeling? Thank you. I'm good. It's a good day. Yeah, it is a good <laughs> yeah. day indeed. Yes. <laughs> Please, um, let's talk about first time homeowners or home buyers rather. Uh, what are some of the tips that you would give me if I was looking to buy a home? Okay, the first thing that I'll advise somebody who's thinking of buying a house, before when you start thinking, mm. start saving up already. Okay. Start saving the up. The thought must it? come with money. Yes, money. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm saying that is because sometimes you'll be required, like even if you're buying with a bank, you'll mm. be required to put down some cash for transfer costs and all those things. So if you don't have any backup or any savings, that mm. might be a bit difficult. So that's the first thing. Save, just save. Okay. Yeah, as much as you can. And then also um, go to your bank, preferably the bank where your salary goes in, you know. Okay. Ask them to give you a pre-approval. Pre-approval is a document that uh, tells you how much you qualify for. Mm. So at least that way you have an idea of how much you're going to spend. Okay. And then after that you can now start looking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How do you go about then uh, matching a property with a client? Okay. Um, mostly I like to ask how much the person will qualify for. Mm. So for most cases, because people only, you know, depend on the bank to finance them. So I'll ask you for your pre-approval mm. or I'll ask you how much you want to spend if you have cash, a cash buy, right? And then I'll first and then ask your, your maybe lifestyle. Some people have, you know, high, mm. high end Over lifestyle and some are more weight. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so that I can at least decide or be able to guide you on where you can find a certain property mm. in a certain area that you want. Mm. Like if your amount is uh, less, like a million, and you want to go to an hour's bleak mm. uh, for a mansion that costs five million, then I will have to guide you that, okay, no. Maybe let's focus on this. That's okay. how I met. Maybe go property. to Vanada Luxury Hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I also like to ask for family. If you may be a married person, you have mm. kids, you'd want a place that is close to school. Or, yeah. And also ask you where you work. Mm. If you want to work close to, to, to where you live. Yeah. So that you don't have to spend too much on, on, on petrol. Yeah. Like the, there are people who are comfortable living in Osona, mm. close to Okahanja, but the to they commute to Ventu. Mm. Yes. Then maybe they have good budgets for petrol and all that. They have cars and all that. Okay. Yeah. But then that's what I mostly look in, uh, look at. I look at the lifestyle. I look at the the, the, the affordability, um, how much they qualify for, and I look at the family and I now look at where they work. So basically, yeah. you do uh, like a, a background check on the person. Yes. Mm. I just ask you questions. Yeah. Where and then do you the work? And then I'll tell you that. Okay. This is mm. what I think you can afford in this area okay. and then guide the person and then eventually they decide. All right, let's yeah. switch the conversation to those that are looking to sell their houses. Mm -hmm. uh, how can one make their property more attractive to potential buyers? Okay, um, first thing first, make sure your house is clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just clean up, you know, basic cleaning. Okay. Just clean your house. And then secondly, if there's any cracks in the house or maybe the, the paint is worn mm. out, you just, if you can afford, 
paint the house, give it a fresh look, um, uh, fix whatever door handles that are loose or something, you just mm. fix those minor things and then pack away, you know, uh, declutter, you know, okay. pack away all the things that are not necessary, just make sure that it's nice and spacious, you know. And then always when people are coming to view your house, if you want it to look attractive, open the curtains, make sure there's natural uh, light. light. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Yeah. And then also oh, one, one thing that we don't normally talk about is mm. the pets, especially people oh, who own, okay. you have dogs, so you have cats. Not everybody that comes to view your house are you know, fond of your pets and everything. So mm. keep them away when you are viewing. So they don't play on people's shoes mm. and the dog poos and stuff. Clean it up and, you know, and just make it presentable. Basically, presentation is the key here. Yeah. 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 And I must not find fair also. Yeah, don't find, yeah, some people are allergic <laughs> to such things. And then, you know, don't yeah. uh, real estate take you it's to a true. house and it's, a, it's an emergency. We must rush mm. you to the hospital. So whose responsibility <laughs> is it then to make sure the property is clean is it the owner of the property or the uh, the agent who's yes. selling the property that's the responsibility of the owner of the house okay. the owner of the property yes but then of course if you can talk to the best agents they can help you and mm. guide you on how to do it. do you then yeah. um advise the person who's selling their property on mm what they should you know keep in mind when they are selling when somebody's coming to view yes. what are the, some of the things that they you know should bear in mind yes we do that all okay. the time all when right. we do our first visits we'll tell you that okay here it's just too much furniture <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah okay yeah oh just remind them that okay i'm about to bring a client please keep the dog away or something like that mm. yeah things like that okay what type of properties do you have at the moment that clients can look out okay i mostly focus on properties um, from 3.5 million okay a yeah. house or townhouse whatever. so i can't afford your service no no no, no not, not from <laughs> actually below 3.5 oh okay. 3.5 below because i focus on low income okay uh, people and then uh, middle income mm. mostly yeah, but I, I also do work on some properties when you give me a $7 million house. I can mm. I can do that, but that's not my main focus. Okay. Yeah. So the property is currently listed um, on, 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 on our website, on our platforms, uh, between 800000 mm -hmm. uh, 800000 Namibian dollars and uh, $3.2 million. So, oh. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think 800 is a good it's starting affordable. price. Yes. Yeah, it's affordable. <laughs> yes. You spoke about um, your website mm -hmm. um, where you have listed your properties. Mm -hmm. On what other platforms can we get a hold of you? Do you have a WhatsApp group? Do you have social media? Um, how can prospective clients get in touch with you? Okay. They can reach me on all the social media platforms. I have all the handles. Uh, you can go to LinkedIn. You can go to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Okay. I even do TikTok oh, videos. Oh, wow. <laughs> and also YouTube. <laughs> YouTube, okay. yes. And our um, our website address is ainashare.com. Mm. So if you want to find me, really just Google ainashare or ainashare properties. You'll find me everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Even on Instagram, the Instagram. handle is ainashare. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you very yeah. much for joining us, Aina. Thank you. All Pleasure. right. We wish you well. Yeah. And, you know, maybe one day you can sell me my home. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>
at uh, the Bra Division um, to help you. Shane, please tell us a little bit about all the different types of bras you've got here. Hi, um, nice to be here today. Um, so what we what we have, um, we have our charcoal bras. So it ranges from the Vibers and uh, towards our Mega Masters. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we also have our gas bras, including the Alvas and the, uh, um, we have a Vieber gas bra as well. So it's, it's, it's quite interesting how, how uh, different customers come and they have different kinds of needs and we are here to cater for all their needs. Yes, because um, people are very specific. Some people will only bry um, on an outside bry. Exactly. Some people like a bry room in um, inside and then some go with the Vero or they are very specific when it comes to how they bry, don't they? Exactly. So what we have in stock is uh, we have our bras that we that we can use indoors, and then we have our gas bras as well that's uh, catering for the patio sets on the outside. And uh, yeah, it's 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 very interesting. It is indeed. And um, of course, beside the the physical bras you've got here, you've got accessories and nice to haves galore. Um, mm -hmm. to complement your bra here, don't you? Exactly. Um, we can't just only sell bras, but yes. then, like you said, we also cater for all the uh, accessories that you, that you need for bras. So it ranges from uh, brushes and stuff like that uh, to tongs and uh, basically everything that you'll need to make a perfect bra. And everything you thought, you, you never even thought about when you came here. I found this. It's the Bra Bible. Now, it is, uh, the Weber, it's got Weber recipes in it. Exactly, right? yeah. It has uh, quite a few of Weber recipes, as you mentioned now. And uh, that's only for, for, for clients that's mm. basically more interested in yes. making the perfect meal. So that's why we, we offer that as yeah. well. The bride connoisseur. Yeah. It's <laughs> here for you. Uh, something I found, which I'm delighted about, because I didn't know that you would get it is a grill pizza stone exactly, how does this yeah. work so how that how that one works is basically um it can work with a with a gas bright so mostly the ones that that closes on the top and uh, it gives that nice crust to yes. the base of the yes. pizza and um inside where you can close your bry, could you also use it well it could be used on a on a, on a hot uh plate as well mm, mm. Uh, so mostly for the for the charcoal bras yes. and as i've mentioned for the gas bras as well so it works perfectly oh definitely a <laughs> must go home item um and then the chicken rotisserie yeah. brilliant and uh, handy how does yeah. this work so that one is quite a stunner um we had a, a few customers uh, quite a few actually coming to look for these ones and uh, the nice thing about the rotisserie is um there's there's three different parts so we have the flat basket we have okay. the deep basket and then we have this one mm -hmm. as uh, the one you have in your hand as well so it's it's quite nice because um you can basically put your fire up start up your rotisserie and uh you can sit back and relax while your food gets ready that is fantastic so it turns by itself in everything yes it does um it has a, a motor that works with uh, two batteries. Yes. And uh, once you switch it on, you can happily sit back and relax. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, where the, the Weber Bible, the Bry Bible, was for the connoisseur, mm -hmm. um, this could be for the, the lazy briar. I think my, my husband will love this. <laughs> <laughs> um, a few interesting things also. You've got a, a poiki circulator. Yeah. That is so nifty. Exactly. I'm definitely taking one home. What is this for? So what the uh, Poiki circulator caters for is usually um, people don't usually like to open the Poiki yes. so often once they, mm -hmm. they, they started cooking. So the Poiki circulator um, allows the, the heat within the Poiki to circulate around the pot and that caters uh, or it, it, it makes sure that the, your food gets ready from the inside. What a nice little invention. Yes. And um, I love these um, wood shavings that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. you've got. How, um, how does that work? So mostly the wood shavings, um, it's to give a different taste yes. to your meat or to your pork. Um, as the packet says, it, it caters for, for each um, 
set of meat mm-hmm. that you that you want to prepare. So it caters for chicken, pork, uh, veggies, all those kind of nice stuff. And uh, what you basically do with it, um, you can put it on the at the bottom of your of your smoker or your yes. beer, and uh, it releases a. Uh, at some sort of a uh, smoke mm-hmm. which then uh, gives a different taste to your meat and the flavors are just wonderful there's a walnut wood wild olive maple wood it's oh, and these aren't the only ones there's some other yeah yeah um, <laughs> flavors too uh very easy it's always an issue to clean the bra and i've got i love this one easy easy peasy yeah yeah um, and then you have uh, obviously um, fire. Or what do you call fire these? Lighters. Fire lighters. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. But I picked this one specifically because it's local. It's made in exactly. Namibia. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, also eco-friendly. It is eco-friendly. Yes, um, we had a, quite some good reviews about the fire lighter as well, and it burns. Um, say about 15 minutes per piece so it's good to make some uh, fire with it and uh, quite reliable as well and uh, previously you mentioned the the bry cleaner mm-hmm. as well so that's good um, especially for the for the beer bries and yes, stuff like yes. that so the oil usually drips to mm-hmm. the bottom and stuff like that so it's good to have that cleaner as well fantastic that's it get your fire ready take the meat out come to Popkovitz and Megabolt at the Grove See to it that you find a Shane Hisselman and let him advise you on how to make the perfect bride. Perfect. Thank you. To another exciting episode of Iran World Talk. If you let this be here and tell you what you want to first, you will want to come Welcome to the My In A Property Studio and a warm welcome to you, Risa. Thank you. I'm Risa, back. <laughs> yeah, Risa is back. Risa Dreyer, she is from the um, firm Veda Kauta Noveka, and they are also the proud sponsor of our Money, Mortar and Bricks segment. Yes. Yes, welcome. We are glad to be part Risa. of it. Thank you. <laughs> Risa, now the first question that I want to ask today. And I also want to know that answer. Who can own property in Nam- Namibia? Foreigners, etc. Uh, that's a very et interesting question because <laughs> it differs greatly from agricultural land to your normal residential and business-owned properties. So, as far as your normal properties goes, anybody can own property in Namibia. We've got no restrictions as to who can own, for example, a house here or a flat or even a business-owned property. But as soon as it comes to agricultural land, we've got this major restrictions on that then that no a foreigner may own even the majority shareholding or the majority members interest in the cc in namibia so it must be proudly namibian owned it must be a namibian citizen and you also you once you transfer property for uh, agricultural land they need to sign an affidavit confirming that I am a Namibian citizen. I will be owning the land, not, mm. you know, as masking it for a foreigner mm. or something. So we've got, but we've got quite a number of challenges in the agricultural sector with regard to that, because there's obviously a lot of companies and CCs that is incorporated or structured so that you cannot, you know, you cannot at first see that it's actually foreign owned. So mm. we're trying to minimize that and to keep our, you know, agricultural land owned by Namibians, but the rest of the gum or the country you can own any property foreigners can invest they can buy a property and keep on living abroad or whatever mm-hmm. they feel suited with so yeah. we actually need investors yes we do especially in you know the business sectors or with developments or something we usually we don't have the capital to mm-hmm. invest and develop so it's great to have overseas investors in our mm-hmm. normal mm-hmm. day-to-day property developments and yes, you know, yes. the bigger properties like embassies and so they own mm-hmm. 
like the more expensive properties here. Yeah, yes. especially the American embassy now. Yeah, wow, it's what amazing. A, what a yeah. huge building. Yes, and oh. I don't know who's doing the transfer there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope it does. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, okay, Risa, so um, that's that's it for today. Thank yeah, you, thank, thank you. you very I'll much. I'll see you next week. Definitely, see you thank next you week. Lovely. We came, we saw, and we conquered. We'll see you again next time, same place. Don't forget to watch your favorite show, my.na property or DSTV channel 285, as well as GoTV channel 25.